question for you. Which animal is native to Austria? The answer is the alpine ibex. That's right. If you said kangaroo, then you are wrong. No apple strudel for you. The names Australia and Austria look similar, but they are very different. Guacamole and mushy peas look the same, but they are not. President Xi and Winnie the Pooh look the same, but the rumour that they are the same person is just speculation. How is this relevant to today's lesson? Because sometimes different words and phrases can look similar, but in fact they are very different. Today on Let Them Talk TV, we're going to look at the difference between usually, would usually, used to, to be used to, to get used to. Many English learners confuse these from lower intermediate to super advanced. And that's why I'm making this video. We'll explain all the grammar with lots of examples. We'll look at some common mistakes and correct them. After this lesson, you will never confuse them again. By the way, some hawk-eyed followers of this channel might know that I've already made a video on this subject, but it was four years ago, and frankly, it was a very bad video. No, really. You're too kind, but it was. No link in the description. Don't watch that video. Let's start with usually, which means that which is usual, normally, generally, the most common thing under normal conditions. Usually always allows for some exceptions. We use it to talk about present habits and expectations. Some examples. I usually read a book before going to bed. I usually make these videos in the morning. I usually go for a walk in the afternoon. Usually, usually goes between the pronoun or noun and the verb. I've always wanted to say usually, usually, by the way. However, you can put it at the start of a sentence. Usually, I wake up around 8 a.m. Can you replace usually with normally? Yes. I normally wake up around 8 a.m. However, and here is a tip for you, if your native language is French, Spanish, Portuguese, German, and other European languages, you might instinctively translate, I don't know, normalmente, normalement, normaleweise, into English as normally, which is okay, but usually is a much more common word in English, as you can see from the engram here. So if you want to sound more idiomatic, use usually. Usually. Usually is a word used in the present tense. If you want to put it in the past tense, you use would usually. When I was a student, I would usually eat lunch at the college canteen. When she lived in Brighton, she would usually go for a run before breakfast. In these two sentences, you could also use used to which we're going to look at in the moment. She used to go for a run before breakfast. There is a nuance of meaning. The difference is that would usually stresses the fact that it happened most of the time, but not all the time. Okay, so the past of, of usually is would usually. And I remind you that would in that sentence is not a conditional. In this context, it's about repetitive actions in the past. And we have a video on that. Check it out here. Now let's move on to used to, followed by a verb in the base form. That's eat, drink, talk, walk, etc. This is a past tense. We we'll use it in two ways to talk about states in the past that are not true anymore and to talk about repeated actions in the past that are not true anymore. So firstly, past states. It was true, but it's not now. I used to live in London. But now I live in Paris. I used to eat meat, but now I'm a vegetarian. This used to be a green field. I used to play cricket here as a kid, but now 
it's a car park. Secondly, you use used to for repetitive events in the past that are no longer true, okay? When I lived in London, I used to go to the gym three times a week. On Friday nights, I used to go to the video rental store and get a movie. Not anymore. They don't exist anymore. For repetitive events, we can also use would. When I was a kid, I would visit my grandmother every Wednesday afternoon. Okay, it has the same meaning here as used to, but it's more formal and more literary. However, as we saw earlier, if you use usually, you must use would and not used to. I would usually start work at 8.30, okay? I used to usually, no, that's not right. Easy, huh? Now, the negative. With a negative, you talk about things that were not true in the past that are true now. For example, you know, I, I didn't used to like olives, but I do now. We didn't used to have a car, but now we do. Question, is there anything you didn't used to like that you do now? Answers in the comments. Common mistake. I didn't used to like olives. Did you notice you dropped the D in used after did? I didn't used to like olives. However, this is only a written difference in spoken English used to, didn't used to, will be pronounced the same. That's why a lot of native speakers will write it incorrectly. You might read in old books, the negative of used to is usen't to, or I used not to. For example, I used not to drink coffee. However, this is rather old fashioned and is increasingly rare these days. It has been more or less replaced by I didn't used to. To ask a question, did you used to? Some examples. Hello, I think I recognize you. Did you used to work at Bigwig Systems before YouTube? Did you used to learn English from a book? Hey, did she used to go to our school? A common mistake. Before I worked in a library. No, don't use before like that. It's a past state. So say, I used to work in a library, okay? I danced when I was young. No. If you just use the past simple, in this case, it could be misunderstood that you did the action just once. I danced when I was young on the 23rd of April, 2004. That's not what you mean. It was a past habit, so say, I used to dance when I was young. Got it? Let's move on to to be used to. To be used to means it's not strange anymore. It used to be strange, but now it's not. I've become familiar with the thing. I've learned how to do whatever it is. It's not strange anymore. Be used to is a comparison. Got that? You can use it with a verb plus ing or before a noun. Let's look at some examples. In the UK, we drive on the left, but in France, they drive on the right. It was really difficult at first, but now I'm used to driving on the right. It's not strange. It's not alien anymore. Let me show you something. I'm used to driving on the right. You see that I cover the used to and it reveals a present continuous. I'm driving on the right, just like I'm speaking, I'm learning. There you are, I'm driving. And that will help you remember to put an ing after the verb because it is a present continuous, kind of. In Paris, apartments are really small, but it's okay after a all this time I'm used to living in a small apartment. Another example. You can follow used to with a noun. After spending six months in India, I'm used to spicy food. 
You can follow used to with it to avoid repetition in a sentence. People think it's strange that I take cold showers every morning, but I'm used to it. You can use it in the negative. You know, I'm not used to wearing a mask. It feels strange. My friend just got divorced and he's quite unhappy. He's not used to being alone. You can use it in the past tense. In my first job, I had to be at work at 7 a.m. I wasn't used to waking up so early and I was often late. Common mistakes. I'm used to drinking coffee every morning. No, that's not correct. That's not correct. Because here you're talking about a present habit that happens most of the time. For present habits use usually. I usually drink coffee or tea whatever, in the morning. Remember what I said, to be used to is a comparison. It's comparing a situation now to an earlier time when it was strange. With usually there is no comparison. So this type of sentence might work if we are comparing to a time when it wasn't strange. I'm used to taking cold showers. It was difficult at first, but now I'm used to it. Okay, finally we have get used to. So we know I'm not used to. I'm not used to wearing a mask. And the opposite is I'm used to wearing a mask, okay? There must be a point somewhere in between where it's becoming less strange when you are just learning that experience. Returning to the mask thing, because it's 2021 now, and that's what people are doing. For me, it took about a month to get used to wearing a mask. Now I'm used to it. In fact, sometimes I forget to remove it when I'm in the house. So the structure is get used to plus verb plus ing. It took me about a week to get used to driving on the right. If you move to Iceland, you will have to get used to winters without daylight and summers without darkness. You get used to something that is difficult or unpleasant to start with. It took me a while to get used to taking the metro, but now I'm fine. So get used to is the learning process that makes things seem normal. Unlike to be used to, we often use get used to in the present continuous, okay? Because the learning is happening now. The form is getting used to. For example, I'm getting used to teaching on Zoom. I didn't like it at first. No, I prefer to teach in a classroom, but now I guess I'm getting used to it. I used to eat out a lot, but now I can't because of lockdown. I'm getting used to eating at home. What are you getting used to? Let us know in the comments. Thank you, grammarians. Stay mellow and see you in the next video.